Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. In this video, we are going to learn how to auto reply to YouTube comments using Google Generative AI. So I have a YouTube channel and I regularly post videos on my channel. So my objective is that whenever I'm going to receive a new comment on my YouTube video, then automatically a reply should be generated for that comment with the help of Gemini and automatically the reply should be posted on the comment which is received. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, I have to set up a connection between my YouTube account and Gemini and that I have done without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. So if you also want to learn this amazing automation then you have to follow me through the screen. In this video I am going to show you step by step that how we can automatically reply to the YouTube comments which we are receiving on our videos. So this is my YouTube channel and I regularly post videos related to the nature's beauty and nature in my channel. Okay so now my objective is that whenever I am going to receive a comment on my video then I want to reply to that comment or automatically. So for generating the reply for the comments, I am going to use Google Generative AI that is Gemini with the help of which I can generate unique replies for each of the comments. What I am going to do, I am going to set up a connection between my YouTube channel and Gemini in such a way that whenever a new YouTube comment will be received, then automatically a reply will be generated for that comment and then the reply will be posted automatically on that same comment. So how are we going to automate the entire process? For this, we have to use Pabli Connect which is an amazing automation and integration software as we all know. So this is the home page of Pabli Connect where we can reach by typing the URL pabli.com slash connect in our browser. After coming over here, we can find two options, sign in and sign up for free. So in case if you are an existing user like me, you can directly click on sign in. But in case if you are a new user, you have to click on this sign up for free. So once you will click on this button, you will be able to create your free new account within just two minutes. And also when you will create your account, you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations. Now as an existing user, I am going to click on sign in. So this is all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by Pabli. To create this automation, we are going to use Pabli Connect. So let's click on access now. And it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. So on this dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create different folders over here to save our workflows accordingly. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear. So it is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. First of all, I'm going to give a name over here. Auto reply to YouTube comments using Google Generative AI. After giving this name, here I'm going to select the folder in which I want to save this workflow. So I have created multiple folders over here. You can see I want to save this workflow in this Gemini automations folder. I have selected that and now I'm going to click on create. In this way, you can also create different folders on your dashboard to save your workflow separately. As we have done that, we can see that two windows are open in front of us. First is the trigger and the other is action. Now, what are trigger and actions? So trigger and actions are the basic concepts or we can say these are the building blocks of the automation. Here the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is the response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that same command. Therefore we can have only one trigger in any workflow but we can have as many actions as we want. Now let's suppose we are going to take YouTube in our trigger and we are going to take Gemini that is Google Generative AI in our action and we want that as soon as a new comment will be received on our YouTube video then automatically reply should be generated with the help of Gemini. Okay so here we can clearly see that action is falling what the trigger commands because when the trigger happens that means when the comment is received then only the reply is generated otherwise not. So after understanding this concept let's start creating the workflow step by step and now we are going to automatically generate replies for each of the comment we are receiving on our YouTube videos and we will also post these replies automatically on the comments. So for that we have to move towards our trigger step as we have to select our trigger application to start the workflow. So our trigger application over here will be YouTube. Now whenever we are going to receive a new comment from YouTube this workflow is going to trigger. So we have selected YouTube over here. Now after selecting the application we also have to select the trigger event. Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to trigger or start. So we have multiple events over here. We want that whenever a comment will be received on a YouTube video then we want to receive the response so new comment on a video will be our trigger event over here as we have selected that now we are going to click on connect and to build a new connection I'm going to go with add new connection here we have to click on connect with YouTube but in case if you already have an existing connection you can also select that now we have to select our account and now Public Connect is asking us for the permission to access our Google account it is 100% safe so let's just click on continue 
and here we can see that our authorization has become successful so this means that our connection is successful between youtube and pabli connect so let's move forward here we have to select our channel name so the name of my channel is demo channel and here i'm going to select the video so here when we will go towards video we have multiple options so these are all the videos i have on my youtube channel which i have uploaded up till now so one of the video i'm going to select from here let's suppose i'm going to select this breathtaking sunset i want that whenever a comment will be received on this particular video then i want to receive the response so i'm going to take you back towards my youtube channel and i will show you this video so this is the video which i have selected i want that whenever a new comment will be received on this video then i want to generate the reply for that after selecting the channel and our video we have to click on save and send test request button but before that let me tell you one more important thing that here we can see 10 minutes given in front of youtube this means that 10 minutes is the polling time of youtube what is polling time polling time is the actual time which fabli connect is going to take for capturing the response every time so because youtube has polling time of 10 minutes this means that we are going to receive the new response of a new comment within 10 minutes so whenever we are going to receive a new comment of a youtube video then automatically after 10 minutes the response of that video will be captured over here now so how we are going to generate the response over here currently for that first First of all, we have to go towards our YouTube channel. We have to make a new comment over there, and then we have to click on Save and Send Test Request button to receive the response. So the latest response, which was recently received on our video, will be captured. Okay, so we'll go back, and here I'm going to add a comment. So let's say I'm going to add a new comment as "Wonderful." Okay, here I'm going to simply click on comment, and the comment is added. So we'll go back towards Public Connect. Here now we are going to click on Save and Send Test Request button. and here we can see that we have received the response in the response we have received all the details this is the video id here is the date and time at which the comment is received and this is the actual comment that we have received okay so now when we have received this response this means that our connection is absolutely successful between youtube and pabli connect so we will move forward after building this connection our objective is to generate the replies for the comments which we have received this is the comment we have to generate the reply for this how we are going to do that with the help of gemini now for this we have to set up connection between gemini and pabli connect so action application over here will be google generative ai so now when we have selected the action application here we have to select the action event that will be generate content okay let's click on connect and now to build a new connection with google generative ai we have to click on this add new connection if you already have an existing connection you can definitely go with that as well now to generate a new connection we have to first of all provide an api key for that the instructions are given over here very clearly you just have to log in to your gemini account and then you have to click on this google ai studio so it has redirected me towards the Google AI Studio. From here, we can generate our API token. So let's click on this Get API Key, and these are all the keys which I have on my account. So in order to create a new API key, we have to click on this Create API Key button, and here we have to search the project in which we want to save this key. So here, from the drop down, we have multiple projects. I'm going to select one project over here. That is my first project. If you do not have any project, you have to create one. Okay, in which you have to create the API key. So the project is selected. Now I'm going to click on Create API Key in Existing Project. So the API key is ready. Here I'm going to copy the key. We will close this and we'll move back towards Pabli Connect to paste it over here. Done in the same manner. You have to find your API key from Google AI Studio. And now here we have to click on Save. In this way, our Google Generative AI account is successfully connected with Pabli Connect. So now we have to move forward towards the text models and the method. First of all, we have to select the model by using which we have to generate the content. Okay, so here I'm going to select model Gemini 1.0 Pro latest. I have selected the model to generate the content. Here we have methods as well, count tokens or generate content. So the method is generate content over here. Now the most important thing that is text. Text that means a prompt. Here we have to provide a text or a prompt or a command. We can say that what we want generative AI to do for us. Because here I want to generate the replies for my YouTube comments. So here I'm going to give a brief summary related to the channel which I'm running on my YouTube account to Google Generative AI. And here I'm also going to enter some points which I wanted to be in. included in my replies okay related to the comments and then finally i'm going to instruct it that i want the reply based on these points okay so here the prompt should be crisp and on point so whatever details you want to include in your content you have to mention these points very clearly and you have to instruct in very clear language to google generative ai that what you actually want so here i'm going to enter my prompt as 
I have a YouTube channel on which I post videos related to the natural resources and beauty of nature. So I have described that what kind of channel I have. Okay, please respond to the following YouTube video comment in a friendly and engaging manner, addressing any questions or feedback, and encouraging further interaction on my email natureaddicts at the rate papitudes dot com. So this is a very small prompt I have given, but you can definitely add more details in it according to your requirements and and make your content more creative and unique. Now here I have entered the comment is so I will. Simply enter the comment which we have received on which I want to generate the reply. And because I want to keep it dynamic, what I will do, I will not write it manually. I will simply map it from my previous response. So in my previous response, you can see that we have already received the comment. This is the comment. Wonderful. I will simply select that and I will map it. So when we have mapped this comment, it has become dynamic. That means with each and every new response, it is going to be replaced automatically. So our objective is to create an automation for generating replies for YouTube comments. Here, when we have mapped this comment automatically with each and every new comment, it is going to be replaced from this field. And in this way, we are going to generate the replies automatically. Okay. But in case if we will enter the data manually over here, then it will be. Become static, and then it is not going to replace. So you can see that as we have entered the text over here manually, so it will be same each time. So we have instructed one time that what we want, and we have mapped the comment. So the comment is going to be replaced automatically, but the instructions is going to same each time. Now when we have mapped the text, let's move forward, and we will click on Save and Send Test Request button. And here we have received the response. In this response, this is the content which is generated. Thank you for your wonderful comment. I'm I'm so glad you enjoyed the video. I'm passionate about sharing. the beauty and importance of nature and it means a lot to me to know that my videos are resonating with others okay if you have any questions or feedback please don't hesitate to reach out to me directly on this particular email address i would love to hear more from you and continue the conversation okay so the reply is generated and this is very nice and a creative reply now our objective is to post this reply which is we have recently generated automatically on the comment which we have received for that once again we have to set up the connection between youtube and public connect so let's click on this direct action step button and now here our action application will be youtube now we have to select the action event so our action event this time will be reply to comment okay here we have selected that now let's click on connect and because we have recently built a connection so we will go with the existing connection only over here let's click on save and now we have to select the reply and the comment id so we will simply map the reply which we have recently generated because we want to post it okay now the comment id what is comment id so when we will move back towards our first step and we will check whatever we have received in the response so when we will scroll down this response we will see that this is the top level comment id so this is the id which we have to map in the last action step this is our comment id we are going to receive a new comment id with each and every new comment with each and every new response okay so here we will simply map the comment id so that it could replace automatically with every response so this is my comment id here i have mapped that and now let's click on save and send test request button as we have done that we can see that we have received the response and here is the channel id as well this means that the reply is posted on the comment let's go and check whether the comment has received our reply or not and this is the comment you can see when we'll click on the reply Yes here is the same reply which we have generated from Gemini. This means that our connection is absolutely successful and we have completed our workflow. So now whenever we are going to receive a new comment on our video, automatically a reply will be generated for that comment and it will also be posted automatically. So let's check the live example. What I'm going to do I will just post another comment on the video. So here I'm going to post another comment let's say as amazing content. Okay and now I'm going to post this comment. As we have done that, let's wait for 10 minutes and automatically the reply will be added to this comment, okay? And yes, after 10 minutes, you can see that this is the comment which we have posted and when you'll click on this reply button, here we can see that a reply is generated and posted over here. Thank you so much for your kind words. I am so glad you are enjoying the videos. I love sharing my passion for natural resources and the beauty of nature with others. If you have any questions or feedback, please don't hesitate to reach out to me at this particular email. email address okay so here this means that our connection is absolutely successful so let's quickly summarize what we have done we have just taken simple steps trigger in action in trigger we have taken youtube and in action we have taken google generative ai and once again youtube and we have connected all of them with the help of public connect in such a way that now whenever we are going to receive a new comment on our video in youtube then automatically a reply will be generated with the help of google generative ai for that comment and it will be posted automatically on the same comment in this way you can also very easily create create this automation with the help of public connect to automatically reply to all the comments which you are receiving on your videos i hope this video was helpful for you thank you for watching
Not only these applications, but you can integrate multiple such applications without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can reach out to us at support at the rate pabli.com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any pricing related issue, you can reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful, do not forget to share it with your friends. And also, please like our video and subscribe our channel for more such amazing automations.